Well, we've made it to Ingleborough Fields and we're on pitch number 59, which is um, tucked away really. We're in a little cul-de-sac just off the main road on the site. We did tour around the site to begin with and ended up back on pitch 59 and Sue's got a map which we can show you. It's up here. We're just somewhere there. Hopefully you can see that. And I'll show you the pitch. Well, pitch 59 is directly behind me. If I turn around, you'll be able to see it. And there we are. Lovely little cul-de-sac here. We're just surrounded in trees and, and uh, quite sheltered really in the corner here. Um, we've got Joe and Sheila. Our fellow posh cats um, who always travel around with us preparing dinner over here. Sue's making a nuisance of herself. And uh, uh, Joe's got a new toy. That's his new toy that we bought him. Yeah, I'll have to have him demonstrate that in a minute. But they've all got different coloured bits uh, that they go in. Look. Uh, how lovely. Colour coded. Now, this was something we found at the Norwich Motorhome Show a few weeks well, then I can ago. See, this is the handle that you use. There's one little handle and lots of little spatulas and things. You just press the little button. Little grill of gas in there. gadget. Oh. And you put the end on it. So there we are. Alright. Well, before I was interrupted, we were looking at the pitch. Joe is on pitch 60. And uh, he also has one of our um, pop-up gazebos that we've bought recently. See my previous video for an explanation of how that works. And uh, there we are, look. There we are. So, I think we're all set up in the gazebo. And uh, the dogs are having fun. So what's on the menu tonight then, Joe? <laughs> sweet and sour, mate. Sweet and sour, is it? Yeah, sweet and sour. Okay. What you got in there then? I got chicken first. Right. Yeah, I got all the chicken in here. Chicken pieces. All the chicken pieces to cut up. Right. Mushrooms and veggies all ready to go in. Right. What are you doing there then, Joe? What are you doing, mate? I know, putting the veggies on. Yeah. Yeah, the with the chicken. <laughs> ah. I thought I'd got the lemonade. I forgot that was in there, actually. And I thought we'd Red peppers. Oh, lovely. Cream, whatever it is. Awesome. Onions. Okay. Mushrooms. Well, I've got a cheesecake in the freezer as well. I've got, I've got the, the lady give us, so I make some custard, I've got some apples, so I've got it. Yeah, it's added a bit of colour. Oh, lovely. Should I just do that? I've just yeah. had a tin of yeah. chopped tomatoes going in. Come out with this little aerial and he's just stuffed it. And, uh, and he's got lovely colour. They're going to add the sweet and sour sauce. Tesco's. Oh, good. We couldn't get where the tomatoes are. A lot of people couldn't. Well, it's gurgling away there nicely now, Joe. Yeah, do it, mate. Well, it's almost ready to go. Look at that bubbling away. Another delicious meal from the Posh Cats menu. Well, good morning, everyone. We've left the uh, Ingleborough Fields Caravan and Motorhome Club site. We've come past the golf course and across the road and we're now approaching the beach on a little doggy walk. Um, folks are behind me catching up. They were just looking at a Red Admiral butterfly, which uh, I should have taken a photograph of really. But anyway, we'll have a little walk and we'll take you with us. Well, we've made it up to the sand dunes. Dogs are keen. 
can't get down to the beach, there seems to be a cliff, so let's go and have a little look. There's quite a few people down there, so there must be a access to the beach a bit further down. Let's go and see if we can find it. Well, we found a beach. And uh, doggies are allowed on lead. So we're going to wander down this way and see if we can find Chroma. What are you doing then? Hey, what are you doing? Go on in, run, run. Hi. Sophie, what are you doing? Hey, go on, run then. You're worn out already. Husky, come on. Robin up there. Let's see if I can get him on camera. Well, we made it to Chroma. Sun is shining. And as you can see, then that's Chroma Pier. found a sunset. We're up on Inkleborough Hill which is a steep climb beside the campsite and we're overlooking the North Sea here whilst the sun is setting and uh, a little bit tricky to get it on camera but there's hardly a breath of air. If you're catching the wind I'm sorry about that but there's hardly a breath of air up here. As you can see quite a lovely uh, view in all directions behind me this way as well as caravans. We're going to carry on Morgan and then make our way back to the van. Good morning. Day three of Inkleborough Fields and um, a lazy day today. After that long walk, uh, left knee has decided to uh, tell me that it's time for a quiet day. So we're hanging around the motorhome on the site for a little while today. We're having a family day because I think there's a few visitors coming to see us a little later. And uh, so I won't be doing an awful lot of filming and because we have one of the posh cats, Clan, has a birthday. And, um, take a picture or two a little later with the uh, opening of the present and uh, celebrating over dinner if I can hold it down long enough so uh, tomorrow we're off to Great Yarmouth we've got um, to see Simpsons at Great Yarmouth uh, after that we're off to Holt on a Anglia region of the Caravan and Motorhome Club rally and it's uh, supported and uh, run by the North Essex Centre so we'll report to you from there. In the meantime, from Sue and from me, it's bye-bye. <laughs>